Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and tonight we have a special broadcast to talk about the absolute best composite flat pedals. So if you ride flat pedals, you've probably noticed in the, probably the last couple years, composite pedals have been getting really popular. Instead of an aluminum body or steel body or magnesium or titanium body, you have a composite body and composite is way cheaper to manufacture. So now you can get a phenomenally good flat pedal that is not that expensive. So all of these pedals are $50 or under. They all have sealed replaceable bearings and replaceable threaded pins. Those are huge things that just frankly did not exist in any good flat pedal, um, probably even under a hundred bucks. And now it exists in pedals that are $50 and under. So to dive right into our favorite ones, whenever we talk about our favorite products or you know our best of, we're always looking at sort of the data that we have, right? Which ones sell really well for us? Which ones do we have the best feedback from, from all of our customers? Which ones are being used the most among our staff and among our friends? And which ones are people just loving the most? So that's how we pick the products to talk about to you guys when we're doing videos like like this um, to dive right into it crank brothers stamp one so 45 bucks um, the reason I put these as the number one position here and wanted to talk about them first is because they do have a really unique feature they have a small size and a large size that's pretty meaningful depending on the size of your foot so you can check out the sizes right here pretty significant size difference so a lot of pedals have come out to just be sort of a one size fits all. And as far as I know, this is the only like extra large sort of platform and a composite pedal out there right now. Um, depending on your shoe size, if you have really big feet, you probably are gonna love this large platform. And if you have size 10 or under, then you're probably totally fine with the small. I have a size 10 shoe, I ride the small, I prefer, I like it. This is currently what I'm using on my uh, dirt jump bike right now, which is one of my favorites. All of these pedals, again, why I think they're so popular and why we picked them for this video, the pins um, are all replaceable, but they're also threaded. So a pin that's not threaded, that's just sort of a straight um, slender pin that doesn't have the actual threads on the outside of it, in my opinion, doesn't grip the shoe rubber as well. So having a threaded pin just really makes your foot stick to that thing. So you should definitely be using a good shoe like a 510. Um, that always helps just flat pedals in general, but whatever shoe you're using, um, a threaded pin is gonna stick really well. So weight wise, the smalls are 298, the larges are 328 grams that is. Um, these are some of the lighter ones. And again, 45 bucks for a good pedal. Uh, it's amazing to see all of these pedals in that price point with these features, but that's sort of the, the nature of composite. Composite is incredibly strong too. So if you haven't experienced them before or been around them a long time, uh, when they first came out, people were really skeptical because they're like, oh, composite, isn't that just plastic? Um, I don't know exactly what it's made out of material wise, um, but they don't ever break. Um, I've seen them break as often as you've seen an aluminum pedal break, which is just about never unless your bike falls off of your roof or something or the, off the back of your bike rack. Um, so they're extremely durable, so don't even consider that. Next one up, one up comp pedal. So again, composite pedal, replaceable bearings, replaceable pins, all the things you want. Um, one up is known for making reliable, burly, awesome products that are have, you know, just priced really well. Their dropper post is like that. Um, everything they make is just sort of innovative, unique, um, and in their fashion, wanting up the industry. And they're really doing it on all the aspects in terms of price, performance, and just putting all that together in a good package. These are some of the most popular pedals. We can barely keep these things in stock. They almost always sell out. Um, they're available in a bunch of different colors. All of these different pedals are. So 49 bucks, they are a little bit on the heavier side at 366, but super durable, good quality pedal from one of the components. Race Face Chester. This I think was the first extremely popular composite pedal that has been released. Race Face did some hilarious marketing when they launched this thing, which was like, who is Chester and on Pink Bike and all these hilarious comments got put in there. And um, this has been sort of uh, the, the key pedal that we've been using on all of our demo bikes in both of our stores, because they're just reliable and they're affordable. Um, 50 bucks, 365 grams. Uh, you can replace the bearing super easy. Race Face probably has, um, I'd say of probably all these brands, the best distribution in terms of like how many online retailers and if you can find these things in your local shop or if you can find the replacement pin kit in your local shop or the replacement bearing kit. Um, they're really good with that. So in a pinch, if you break some pins or you need to replace your bearings, it's probably gonna be the easiest to find these things and the replacement parts for these. Um, maybe as opposed to some of the other brands or don't have as good of distribution as Raceface. Um, so 
Really good sizing, not too big, not too small. All of these are really thin platform. That's been kind of the trend over the last, I don't know, five or six years, all flat pedals. Everyone kind of realized that the thin platform keeps you lower, looks clean, looks nice, stays light. Um, I love Chester's, come in a bunch of different colors, and I think the only pedals I've seen out there that come in turquoise. Lastly, Deity Compound. These are a little bit more on the flashy side, um, pretty logoed up on each side. Uh, again, replaceable pins, replaceable bearings, all that good stuff like I talked about. 49 bucks. These are pretty light, 341 grams. These have a pretty good size platform. It's sort of one of my favorites. These exact pedals, you have kind of could see in some other brands too, like uh, Originate, Nuke Proof. There's some other brands that have really similar looking design, um, but it's a good design nonetheless and sturdy. And I do like that it has the black spindle, which I believe all of these do, but the Chester's, just that tiny little bit of silver can kind of throw off your bike, but black looks good. I'm not a huge fan of the huge logos. However, Deity is a good logo because it's a good brand, good reliable stuff. Um, phenomenal pedals right there. So that's it. Those are our absolute favorites when it comes to composite pedals. It's awesome to see that nowadays in the mountain bike world, you can get a really good pedal for 50 bucks or less. That's going to last a long time and have replaceable bearings and adjustable pins and replaceable pins and all that sort of stuff. Um, very cool. Let us know down in the comments what pedals you guys are using. Uh, if there's any other composite pedals you think we missed here, don't forget to share this video with all your mountain bike buddies. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.